guys, it's Jack Gamer, and I'm finally back from a long break. Um, I've been away during school vacation, and I'm back, so I haven't released videos, but finally I'm going to try to get a string of videos out for you guys. I've got a bunch of Primal Clash decks to show you, starting with this one, Mega Gardevoir EX. Alongside Aromatisse, his fairy transfer ability, you can move fairy energies as many times as you want around and this is going to be super strong. You've got Xerneas to accelerate this deck with two fairy energy, one to two of your benched Pokemon. And this is going to be super strong because if you look at Mega Gardevoir's attack, it does 30 damage times the amount of fairy energy attached to all your Pokemon. So once Xerneas starts getting a lot of fairy energy out onto your deck, onto the into play, these Gard of Mega Gardevoir's Brilliant Arrow will do so much damage, it's just practically unstoppable. Except for one little thing, you see here, weakness times two. It's n All these fairy Pokemon are weak to metal, so metal decks might be a challenge, but I've got two weakness policy. So instead of attaching Muscle Band, it's not really needed because of how much damage Brilliant Arrow does and how fast it does. But with uh, weakness policy... Mega Gardevoir, your main attacker with all the energies attached to it, won't be weak to the metal attacks. And the thing is, in metal decks, they're really slow, so Gardevoir will be very good against it, despite the weakness. And some people thought of trying to... Um, I think there's a stadium where you can use moves from your previous evolution, and that's definitely not much better than Fairy Garden in this deck. But they tried to use Shining Wind so that you won't have any weaknesses next turn and it's two hit knockout. It's a good idea, but it's not really as good as just one hitting it with Brilliant Arrow and there it goes and you don't get hit by weakness. If you look at Dialga's attack though, the one that does 60 damage, its ability or the, I don't know, I forgot what it's called, but whatever it does written in the text, it says that the EX it attacks cannot attack next turn. So what makes what stops this is Wonder Energy, this new awesome fairy energy. If you have you should have at least two. I found it's very useful. It doesn't usually get discarded. But if you're facing a metal deck, this is super important because against the Dialga, the the effect won't be affected to the EX this is attached to and you can just attack with Mega Guardi despite the whatever the move says because of Wonder Energy and you've also got one Max Potion which is super useful you can move the energy off of Guardi, heal him, move him back and do that damage you need I have Florga's EX, Bright Garden is a nice quick move only two energy which is really easy quick to set up and you do 120 damage if you have a full bench which is really strong and it's a great support it's a great support card to have instead of Xerneas because Xerneas EX requires lots of energy to attack and it's not really worth having. And that's it. I have the dowsing machine here as the ace spec. And I've got a usual deck list. If you want to see it, you can pause it right here. This video, I want to get straight to the game. I'm going to show you the power of this deck. So let's go and try Mega Guardi out. All right, so we are facing a full psychic deck. I want to face a competitive deck to show you the power of Mega Guardi. Looks like he has a pretty nice coin, so maybe we can make an assumption that he does have a a powerful deck but we are going to see oh this is gonna be fun I'm pretty sure it's night March you can see the dimension valley and he's got the wonder energy it could be a Gengar deck oh look at that mega Gengar um his our attacks are not very useful against him because he has no fairy energy in play so mega Gengar isn't gonna be much of an opponent we come out to a pretty okay start. It's not the best. I think I'm gonna start with Spritzy. Start with Florges. I don't want Spritzy to go down because there's only two, and the second one might just be prized with my luck. All right, so he's got a bunch of bench Pokemon to start, 
and I'm going to attach fairy energy to Florgus. The muscle band too. Solar retriever. I'm just gonna allow it to go back into the deck with an N. I'm gonna see what I get. It's nice that I get an N um Exernius, but either way I can't attack this turn. So maybe next turn I can hopefully get that attack on. I'm actually gonna put the second Spritzy on the bench just in case he has some sort of Lissandre and knocks out my Aromatisse that could hurt the deck. So I've got two, hoping for two Aromatisse getting ready to set up. And you can see there, this town map shows he's got that Lissandre in his prize card. So I'm waiting to see what it does. He has Wah Buffet, where um, the active Pokemon has no abilities unless it's a psychic Pokemon. If this guy is active, and that's what, and you could use that along with Dark Corridor, it's a really nice tack. Poisons, and you switch it. Reminds me of Don Fan, so I'm not gonna put that Florgas EX out. I'm going to, hmm, this is a tough choice because I'm gonna go with this, and then I'm gonna have to do lead, which stinks, but. Um, I didn't get the best draw. I'm going to go for Colra. Six cards is excellent at this point. Or maybe I should just go with an N. Yeah, six cards, same thing. So I'm going to have to wait until next turn to attack with Xerneas. We already got two Fairy Energy. We don't have any energy deficits. So Megaphone comes out. That's really good because he's not going to discard any of my Spirit Links. We've got a limited supply of them. So we see the one mystery energy go on to Gengar. Got an Aromatis, super handy. All right, so we're not going to attach the Florgus. I'm going to attach this to Florgus. Can move around wherever I want. Except I just realized I actually can't because of Wab Buffett being out. So that's pretty, that stinks. I could knock him out if I'd like with an Ultra Ball. Another fairy, oh no, no muscle band. So it's not going to work anymore. I'm gonna not going to attack yet. I'm going to retreat because I got the fairy garden out. And yes, I am definitely going to ultra ball. I think I'm going to discard N. And a fairy energy. Should I discard this fairy energy? Yes, because max potion could be useful if he gets his attack. And here comes Gardevoir, our featured main attacker in this deck, the super strong Mega. He still haven't Mega evolved him or gotten the Spirit Link, but we are starting to get tons of energy onto the playing field. And Gardevoir is starting to come into this deck, into this game. Hopefully I can show you his epic attack maybe knock out that Gengar and ruin everything. And just a heads up, Xerneas is also great against cards like Sigilyph and Suicune, where EXs can't attack it. And Pyroar 2, one simple muscle band, and Rainbow Spear knocks all of those guys out because they have pretty low HP. It's all around 100. And with the muscle bands, 120 damage, and they're all going down. And you have run four Xerneas, so there's definitely... Definitely going to be no problem getting these guys out. And look at this nice hand. We've got Spirit Link and Mega Gardevoir. Finally going to be able to showcase him if we can knock out this Wabuffet. I think we can this turn by putting another guy on the bench. Alright, weakness policy is not necessary. So we're going to go with the Spirit Link, Mega Guardi. Not losing a turn. I don't need this max potion at all. No damage yet, but I'm hoping this guy, he's really slowing me down because Aromatisse is not allowing me to transfer the energy around. But what I'm going to do, I don't need any of these. Maybe just attach the weakness policy to Aromatisse. Maybe I could tool retriever or some new surprise. I don't know. No need to discard it. Aromatis. I don't know. Should I attach that Xerneas? I am not going to. I'm going to discard and hope for that. Another Gardevoir because I saw it. Okay, another Aromatis. That's handy. But at the moment, Wabuffet is the guy who's stopping me, not Gar. Um, Garboder. 
so another rheumatis all right all right this is my plan i'm going to discard this weakness policy and florges ex don't need that i am going to get that guardy into my hand put him on the bench free retreat to florges ex i mean three energies is a lot on this guy but it's definitely worth knocking him out and he doesn't have much threats, except he does have another Wob Buffet, which stinks. Okay, so this turn he probably won't get that won't get Wob Buffet out, unless we might be seeing Gengar coming in with Dark Corridor and attacking with Wob Buffet. No, now it's time to move these energies around everywhere. So he, what he doesn't, I don't think he knows, but Xerneas is definitely going to knock the Sigilyph out. I get free retreat with Fairy Garden, super useful. Alright, I've got five Fairy Energy out, and it's going to be four after Rainbow Spear. I'm going to move this Fairy Energy here. I'm going to go, or, alright, first I'm going to take this Sigilyph. I'm not going to let him know that I've got this Lissandre. I'm going to use that next to take out this loaded up Gengar with one more Fairy Energy, and he's pretty much done. All right, not Geomancy, Rainbow Spear. I don't need the Muscle Band, and I don't need anything else. Let's see, I could use the VS Seeker, get an N, just in case. Or I could have reused the, the Lissandre, but I, I could still use a Sporter, but I'm not going to. I'm going to Rainbow Spear, and that's the end of this turn. Alright, Sigilyph is down. He can't even knock out my Xerneas with Gengar. Unless he maybe Mega Evolves and does something wacky. Brilliant Arrow won't do much. Ferris, uh, what's his name? Bright Garden won't do much. So yes, Dark Corridor poisons, but he's still alive. And Robo-Sub, what he doesn't know is a Roman... Okay, move that energy to Mega Guardy. And let's see, this attack is going to do 30 times 4, which is only 120, so it's not a knockout yet. Alright, so I'm going to do this. I'm gonna press done. Max potion. He's still poisoned, but he, all that damage is gone. And instead of attacking this turn, I'm going to charge up. Alright, I'm going to... Let's see here. What do I have in my discard pile that I might need? Nothing. Maybe I could take out a max potion. Ultra ball might be handy. Mm. I really want to keep the Lissandre though. So I'm going to just Geomancy, Guardi, and Florges. Okay, so I've still got plenty of fairy energy in my deck. Two more for one more Geomancy. And I've still got still six prize cards, none taken by him. And I'm already nearly fully charged up to knock out this Gengar EX. So he attaches an energy, which is pretty interesting. He's going to it's 10 more damage for each damage counter on my opponent's Pokemon. I guess that could be a good move. But if I Dowsing Machine bring the Max Potion back into play, because all three of mine... No, two. Just two are discarded. So I still have two. One might be prized, but I'm not sure. So Mega Gengar, and he loses his turn. He's sacrificing his turn. The question is, should I go for Mega Gengar or this fully charged up Gengar? And I'm going to go for the fully charged up one. So I'm going to do free retreat. Guardy comes out. All right. So Brilliant Arrow is going to do 30 times 6, which is 180. And that's a knockout for Gengar. So come out here, Gengar. Let's get you. Um, I'm, I'm going to not need these Xerneas or this N at the moment. Definitely will be super useful to bring back this Max Potion to play. 
So Gardevoir is not going down in any recent times. Alright, Brilliant Arrow, and down you go, Gengar. We're down at two prize cars. One more EX knockout, and this game is ours. Alright, we drew a Juniper and a Fairy Energy, just adding 30 more damage to the next attack. Alright, if I got the... Alright, so we see his hand is absolutely empty. No supporters. Alright, this makes... Again, Tool Retriever. Look how excellent this card is. Spear Link goes to this guy. Muscle Band goes to this guy. Another energy goes to this guy. I don't know what to do with the weakness policy. I'll just keep it in play so I don't get decked out. It's a possibility. It really is, but... And uh, actually, you know what? I'll attach it just so I don't discard it because I'm not going to give him a whole new hand of six and myself a hand of two. Well, I don't... I'm not... I can't move energy to heal Xerneas or Guardi, so I'm just going to discard that max potion because I don't want to discard any energy right now. So we see a megaphone. Why not? But I still don't win yet. Maybe next turn. It's a huge possibility. But I've got the muscle band and another spirit link. And I know there's a mega guard of horror somewhere in this deck. I'm going to brilliant arrow. And down goes Wapuff at 230 damage. That would have knocked down Gengar if I got the Lissandre. But I didn't. Right, we got the Robo Sub, which is really nice card, but and he's got an energy which is pretty, pretty decent. But look what I drew, Mr. Lysander switching Gengar, and we are going to win this game with Mega Gardevoir. What an excellent deck this is! Give him a big GG with an exclamation mark. It was a nice game, all right. That's it. Brilliant arrow. Look at that damage. 260 with the muscle band. Ultra ball and victory. The opponent didn't concede this time. Oh, look at that smiley face. He's so nice. Victory wheel. We got 25 coins. What a deck this is. There it is, guys. Primal Clash has brought us some super awesome cards. Next, I'll be showing you the Swamper deck. And thanks, thanks for 1,000 views on my Deck Ideas video. And as always, see you guys next time.